Welcome back! I hope everyone had a great summer break. While you were relaxing, the Grasshopper Tecla Drawing Link has been getting some exciting updates. Today I am going to walk you through the newest features that will help you to work with your structural drawings. The key achievement of this release is support for loops inside of the Grasshopper application. So finally, now using the Rhino Insight technology inside of the Tecla structures with the help of the Grasshopper application, you are able to run the loops. So you can do as many operations on the drawings as you would like, on one drawing, on multiple drawing, on multiple views, however you would like. And that was a longly awaited feature and I'm very, very happy that finally it is there, available for you. Grasshopper Tecla Drawing Link and the Grasshopper application are available on the Tecla Warehouse. Of course, they will stay on the GitHub, but you can download that from the warehouse. There is a new way to position your drawing views. Now you can do it relatively, based on some other point. So, in that sample, I have the source view, I am picking one of that point, and then I am specifying what type of the anchor for the second view I would like to use. Now it uses the lower left, but of course we can align those views differently. There are times that you face very heavy B-Rep, that the current B-Rep projection border is not working correctly. Then you can use the new way, the mesh projection border, which is a lightweight approach for the same problem of getting the projection. Now it's possible to internalize some attributes for the drawing objects, like this arrow. So, after internalizing, you can store the properties of those arrows, lines, circles, all of those drawing primitives inside of your Grasshopper document. For the Grasshopper application, there is a new convention that now when you want to provide the file path, but not, not as a path to the direct file, but to the directory, you can use the prefix directory or dir and then the Grasshopper application will ask you for picking not the file itself, but the directory. So here we can see two different file paths, and the first one is for the directory. As you can see, the dialog box looks a little differently than this one, because this is the old one used for picking the files. That's all from my side. Now I am curious, which of those new features solves a problem you face in your work? Let me know in the comments what your biggest workflow issue is. But for now, have a great day.